Hi, this is Riyan from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, I'm going to perform the clean installation of Checkpoint R81 in Oracle VirtualBox. First, you need to download the Gaia operating system clean install ISO image file from Checkpoint's website. Find the link to download the ISO image in the description. Already, I have downloaded the image and I have stored that image on my local computer. If you are installing it on your physical server, then you need to burn the ISO image into DVD disk or you can create bootable USB drive as well. In this lab guide, we will use Oracle VirtualBox virtual machine for the installation. So I can directly mount the ISO image to that virtual machine. In Oracle VM VirtualBox Manage Console, you need to click on Machine and then click on New. Specify a name for your virtual machine. I'm going to give name Checkpoint R81. Select the location that you want to store this virtual machine. I'm going to specify the location which is as colon slash a checkpoint. Then the operating system type will be Linux. And the version is going to be other Linux 64-bit. Let's click on next to continue. Specify the memory size which is going to be 8 GB. Click next. Click on create to create a new virtual disk. Click next. It is going to be dynamically allocated. And here I'm going to specify the size which is going to be 200 GB. Click on create. Perfect. Now I'm going to modify the virtual machine settings and for that you need to select the VM and click on settings. Click on system. Click on processor tab and select number of processor core which you want to use for this virtual machine. In my case I'm going to use a 2 core. Then I'm going to click on storage. Select the empty drive and choose a location where you have stored the ISO image. In my case, I have stored the ISO image under app drive folder name Linux distro. Select the ISO image which is checkpoint R81T392. Click on open and now ISO image is successfully mounted. Then I'm going to click on OK to save the changes. Suppose if you are installing checkpoint on your physical server, then you need to insert the DVD inside DVD-ROM of your open server. Then reboot your open server and enter in BIOS and configure the DVD-ROM to be the first boot option. And again you need to reboot your open server. Now your open server will boot from the DVD-ROM. Let's select our virtual machine checkpoint R81 and now I'm going to click on start button. Already we have mounted the IOS image and that's why the virtual machine is going to be boot from that checkpoint ISO image. Okay. Uh, the Gaia installation menu will appear to you. That will be total two options. Install Gaia on the system and do not install Gaia boot from local drive. Select install Gaia on the system option and press enter key from your keyboard. Let me maximize it. It is asking us that do you wish to proceed with the installation? Select OK and press Enter key to proceed. Select keyboard layout which is going to be US in my case. Select OK and press Enter key again. Specify the partition size. A system root partition is going to be 40 GB. Same for logs. And remaining size is going to be used for backup and upgrade. Select OK and press Enter key. Type a strong password for Gaia administrator. The username is going to be admin. Select OK and press Enter key again. Actually, in our virtual machine, we have only selected one network adapter. If you have multiple network adapter on your virtual machine or on your physical server, then you need to select management interface from which network you are going to manage the checkpoint. 
and it is going to be your LAN interface in most cases. But in our case, we have only one interface and which is going to be act as a management interface in our case, which is ETH0. Type the IP address for management interface. By default, the IP address assigned to checkpoint is 182.168.1.1. You can also use dynamic IP address for this interface. But in this demo, I'm going to specify the other IP address, which is going to be 10.6.8.1 in my case. The mask is going to be 255.255.255.0. And I'm not going to assign the gateway's IP address. I'll simply remove the default gateway's IP address. Now select OK and press Enter key from your keyboard to start the installation process. Are you sure you want to continue? Select OK and press Enter key from your keyboard. The installation process is started and this process is going to take some time to complete. Installation is completed and we can see the message to complete the first time configuration of the system, log in from console or connect using a web browser to https colon double slash the IP address of management interface, which is 10.6.8.1 in our case. But first, we need to reboot this server. And for that, press enter key from your keyboard to do so. After reboot, you can log in to Gaia operating system using the password which you have specified during the installation process. Username is going to be admin. I specify the username again. And here we can see the message that in order to configure your system, please access the web user interface and finish the first time wizard. So installation is completed. Next, we need to complete the first time configuration, which we will see in the next lab guide. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one.